happy to say we're back now with Hugh Grant, no stranger to strong leading ladies like Julia Roberts, Renee Zellweger. Now he is starring opposite Meryl Streep in the film Florence Foster Jenkins. This is based on a true story. In it, Meryl plays the world's most famous not great singer. Hugh is her incredibly loyal husband and manager, and in this clip he's sharing a review very carefully. The consensus was that she'd never sung better. <laughs> her grace and brilliant personality only added to the remarkable quality of her voice. By the end of her performance, the stage was a bow of blooms. And Madam Jenkins retired to thunderous applause. Bravo, funny, bravo, bravo, bravissima. <laughs> Stephen Frears directed this film, which I just could not believe is based on a true story. Will you share with us a little bit about who Florence is? Well, yes, yeah, she was um, a millionaires uh, heiress in the 1940s. Uh, well, the film takes place in the 1940s when she was in her 70s, and she kind of ran the classical music life of the city. She was a great philanthropist and sponsored everything. The only problem was <laughs> that she herself felt that she could sing. And she wasn't just bad, she was so hilariously bad mm -hmm. that she could fill Carnegie Hall and things like that. Uh, but she, and she never knew that people were coming to laugh at her. And right. she was protected from the knowledge of that by me, her husband, and a uh, little group around her. St. Clair Bayfield yeah. is her character. So wildly loyal that he will go to any length to protect his wife and make sure that she doesn't know how bad she is. That's right, yes. What drew you to that character? Well, um, the whole concept of the film, I think, was fascinating, this awful singer and the sort of whole idea of delusion. But um, my character in this film was rather interesting because he's extremely loving, mm -hmm. and loyal, um, protective, but nuanced and complex as well. He's got other stuff going on and and yeah. you ask yourself in the film, at least for a lot of the film, you're asking yourself, does he really love her or is he in this for the money because she was so rich and uh, for his own um, career, really? Uh, but hopefully in the end people realize there's real love. There is a real love story it, and yeah. it's not what you think. It is, there are t weirdly twists and turns in this elegant tale. Yes, that's right, yes. It's difficult to talk about them without ruining the yes, film. Yes, I, I shan't. Okay. I feel like I have to say shan't because you're so elegant. Uh, what was it like working with the great Meryl Streep on this? And especially her in this character. Well, uh, obviously it was a big reason for doing the film because I don't do many films anymore. I, you know, I've sort of moved on a bit. But when this thing came up with such a great script and Stephen Frears and then Meryl Streep, um, clearly I had to do it. And uh, I was terrified of her with her 19 Oscar nominations, yeah. <laughs> but um, actually she was delightful and, she and raised my game. I did think. she do anything in the beginning? To, did she notice that you were nervous? Was there any sort of exchange in the early days of, uh, you know, sort of table reads? She pretended she was as well. I used to ask her every day, I'd say, Merrily, are you nervous? And for the first week or so, she'd say, oh, yes, yes, I'm nervous. And after two weeks, she got bored of me asking, saying, no, I'm not nervous anymore. <laughs> And how in the world did she find that voice? Because Florence is, you know, makes it to Carnegie Hall, fills it, in fact, as you said, but it is like cringeworthy singing. Yes, well, it's, a, it's you know, she is an actress of genius. She's also a, a classically trained singer. So she learned to sing all these uh, famous yeah, and very difficult. It had to be hard for her to be bad at something. What's that? It had to be hard for Meryl to be bad. Well, I suppose so. Perfectly bad. <laughs> yeah. She learned them all perfectly, and then she messed them up. Yes, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, it's been said that you may, you, you just alluded to it, you might retire from films <laughs> altogether. Well, I had moved on slightly. I was doing other stuff in life. I've been doing very involved with various political things in Britain. But um, occasionally, it's lovely to dip my toe back in uh, Lake Showbiz. Will you please come back to Lake Showbiz again? Uh, yes, I will. Okay. Larry. I'll have a towel waiting for you. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hugh Grant, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, I'm excited. Oh, well, uh, and, um, and you'll love the film. It's called Florence Foster Jenkins. It hits theaters this Friday.